Hey everyone, welcome back to more of uh, a big hunk of Hyrule. So, got a lot of grinding done in the last part. And I can finally go back and take out the levels we kind of passed up before. Okay, so actually just out of curiosity. I mean, if you wanted to see what these dark rooms looked like, you know, what you had to stumble through. Yeah, just really random room designs. And look at this. I mean, you really would have just stumble your way through these types of rooms. So if you want to get an idea of what you're up against. And I'm probably going to want to find a heart because I really want my sword beams. Because it makes this part a little easier. <clears throat> And again, most of what you'll be dealing with is just regular bats and gels and stuff. And since at this point you, you would really only have a boomerang to work with. Not that the sword really gives you that much of an advantage, honestly. <clears throat> the fact that I have a few more hearts, that kind of helps out. Gives a little more room. Okay, uh, let's see. I think I got that extra key from. Uh, I know you're supposed to even on keys. There's probably another. Oh, yeah, it was this level that had an extra key, I believe. Or something like that. Easy when you actually can see the room now. <clears throat> kind of know what you're up against. Uh, nothing in that room, just kind of rush through it. Yeah, a little easier when you actually can block fireballs. I don't have to move so frantically now, I can block some of those things. Okay, so, now, if you go into this room beforehand, you're gonna find this. There are Pole's voice. Yeah, you really have to deal with Pole's voice. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. And, you know, remember, you only have a boomerang at first, so you have no way to do any damage to them. kind of be running off my sword beams right now, because I don't have a bow and arrow. I'm 
probably use bombs, actually. Get some damage with bombs. So that's gonna do a lot more damage with my sword. So if you want to come back here with a bow and arrow, then uh, that may not be such a bad idea. So you can take him out of you know, one hit. And here you're gonna find one of your bomb upgrades, where someone gave you a clue about that. You know, levels one and three. Now that's the easy one. Uh, the other one, again, we're not gonna be getting that for a long time. See this room it just has a single block. Okay, so that's a tip for the uh, what's coming up shortly. statues. So you'd have to be doing a pretty good job stunning them. So definitely you want slow ones, or at least the first one to be slow, so that you can uh, manage that one better. Because the second one you can stun and get the key really quick. Now, this room can be an absolute pain, uh, because look at this. Uh, you are not going to step out into the middle of this type of room. Traps, uh, lots of statues shooting crap at you. Uh, this is not going to end well for you. Uh, here's where you are going to take advantage of the doorway to keep yourself safe. And that's probably how you're supposed to fight these things. hits because I got a lot of health to work with. But if you assume you only have like say three hearts, yeah this could be kind of a bad room to go through. <laughs> and if you are running short on energy, you know you don't feel like getting that heart container, you know you can exit the room after you clear everything and see everything is gone. So give you an easier pass to that heart container. So, I'm clear out level one there. Again, that level's actually pretty difficult, uh, especially when you have three hearts and just a boomerang. So, you know, just having a few more hearts to work with uh, will make that level a bit easier to get through. Now 
least I already got 12 bombs. Okay, so you want to actually go back to level 2. Uh, because you have to find the bow in there because, you know, you were told that. I mean, there was one room you couldn't explore, so you might as well take a look at it anyway. Uh, luckily it doesn't take that long to get back up there. Because most of these rooms only have, like, you know, simple enemies. This room on the left that has a yeah land molas already yeah that's kind of crap. So um, luckily they're not blue ones. So if you got to use bombs, candle, whatever you have to get more damage on board, then by all means do it that way. Because you really want to load on the damage quickly. Remember, they do two hearts ahead. Alright, so after you... Take out those few land molas. Yeah, you know, you gotta know, really make sure you have a sword. You really want to make sure you have a sword for this. Unless you can use bombs, I suppose. Yeah, see, bow and an arrow. This room can be kind of a pain in the butt because you got a bunch of blue Garayas. So if you've got to use bombs here, you know, again, by all means use uh, anything you need to to make this room easier. your bow. Yeah, it's kind of guarded pretty good, so... Okay, now we got the bow. And now we're actually equipped to do level three. Uh, nothing else to do in this level, so. Do some backtracking. You 
giving a lot of rupee secrets I haven't picked up yet. So, because I need extra cash. But you can always pretty much grind in this kind of sandy area. Get a lot of money this way. Kind of loop around this area, you can kind of quickly pile up a lot of money. place. So, that'll be, you know, the first two levels are done, and this level is a little bit tricky, and next part we will start going into it. Alright, see you guys later.